For this experiment, we need aluminum foil. Cut a piece of 48 by 24 centimeters. Then fold it as shown. Using a cylindrical object of 2 to 3 centimeters in diameter, make a coil of 20 to 25 turns using magnet wire size 34 AWG. Twist the wire around the coil to prevent unwinding. Do the same at the opposite side of the coil. In order to have good electrical contact, you have to remove the varnish from the wire. Burn the ends of the coil and use sandpaper. We need a high frequency AC power supply. I will use this ballast that is for halogen lamps, 12 volts. Use tape to fix the aluminum foil to a flat surface. Ok, we are ready to do the experiment. The ends of the coil are fixed with tape to these two pieces of wood. This is to maintain the coil centered in the aluminum foil and avoid lateral movement. The coil is now connected to the ballast and let's apply power. The current in the coil is very large, enough for the varnish to burn. That was all for this coil, dead in the name of science. Ok, so why does this happen? The fluctuating magnetic field produced by the coil induces a current in the aluminum foil. This current in turn creates its own magnetic field. Because of Lenz's law, the two magnetic fields oppose each other, creating a force that pushes the coil upwards.